Hi, welcome to this setup. This is Xmonad. Well, the video is not about Xmonad at all. So we have a lots of uh, things that are open. We've downloaded Linux Mint and we have VirtualBox installed. And let's do a new setup for Linux Mint and see if all the icons are okay. So this is a Saturday video. Is it okay or not? Ubuntu is probably the best choice here since it's based on Ubuntu. Well, half is okay, more or less. These days I take around 30 for a virtual box. Then right mouse click, we go to the settings immediately. This is, well, this is um, different, right? It's a tiling window manager, so it kind of looks awkward from time to time. But it's, it's work, it's great. It has a very low um, memory usage. Um, let's see if go top is in here. Go top, not installed. H top is in here. You see some information already. Um, a lot of things are open at this point in time. Six of 15 gigabyte is memory. But I've, uh, you know me, um, two tabs open with 15, 17, sorry, two browsers with 17 tabs open. So that's okay. But if you don't do anything, I had this number 150, 1550 megabytes of RAM usage. It's like, what? That was a little bit, um, um, well, amazing, right? So um, processor, I need to have more processors. Go and use four of the eight. 5050, enable for my, and this one. So details go and put in the download so eric download linux mint 18 from today now let's move this guy somewhere else automatic boot in seven seconds let's uh, make it a super f so this is big okay do not capture cancel these are all the messages we always get first time we make it and there's the other one by and by and let's see what happens and then control F one of the last things do not show switch and click away this little thing and we're on Arch Linux on uh, Xmonad on VirtualBox and we are installing Linux Mint we can always have a look and I was wondering do I need to install it since it's always takes a while to install everything can't I just install Saturday icons and see if there are icons missing at all? Let's do this. Whoops, where has he gone? Open up, my friends. All right, there you are. Control A. Don't touch Control A, that's probably the QWERTY thing. So Control Q. I am working in Azerty here. Yep, I am working in Control T. Does this work? Set X BAP B E. Okay, I am a ZT now. Sorry, source for. Yep, that's it. Uh, accept files. And we've done an update fairly recently here. I tried to do a monthly update, but you know how it is. Um, open it up. Where's my download? I missed it. So files, and I should click here, not the other ones. So remember you have lots of um, servers here. You can go to Czechoslovakia, I think it's called. Uh, Germany, California, no, Canada, Canada, US, and US, and Chicago, India as well, United States, Vancouver, lots of places to be. So any of these servers will maybe improve your downloads. I do like this crisp, clean icon already. I can appreciate a nice icon. All right. Oh, wait to extract it. In the meantime, I can have a look at the home, control H. 
Yeah, the icons have been changed. That's nice. It's more like an uh, arc theme, actually. And then we can make, we should make a folder. Dot icons. Dot icons, dot themes. Those are the things you can have in your own home directory. And then uh, you don't need to write the user share icons themes with all the permissions and the problems with permissions. So just make dot icons, dot themes, put them there. It will work. Downloads, sadly. Control A, Control X. We don't need it here. We need it here. Control V. So don't need this anymore. Bye, close. We're still live, we've not installed anything, trying it out. If you just jumped into the video, and we're going to go background, effects, font, themes, nice icons. Let's have a look at the icons before we put them away. How are they called? So the Mint Y icons, Mint Y, Z, Linux Mint, all right, fine. And we take um, slightly flexible. That's best, maybe. I don't have anything blue, probably. So I'm going over to dark things. This is a blue one, but let's keep it dark. Mint white dark. So this is our look. Control H. The only thing that's still green is this this uh, theme here. Uh, can't much do about that, but. That's why we have arc themes. Now, let's have a look. Is everything blue or not? If there are stuff in there that are not blue, then I know I have to develop something. So everything looks blue, 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 blue. Blue would be incredible if there's not one. places nothing all icons are there accounted for so I guess I don't need to install or create any of the icons since they are all there so we can play around with uh, the operating system a little bit that concludes this video guys Sardi has been approved for uh, the latest version, can we see the latest version of this thing? System info. Linux Mint 19, Cinnamon 3.8.8. Linux kernel 4.15 on Arch, we're at 4.19, I believe. And um, well, that's all the information you have here. We're in virtual box, live, DVD, not installed anything really. And control F. We're actually on BSPW, uh, sorry, on Xmonad desktop on Arc Linux. All right, guys, cheers.